Harry Mason Reed, born December 2, 1939, is a retired American politician who served as a United States Senator from Nevada from 1987 to 2017. He served as the leader of the Senate Democrats from 2005 to 2017 and as the Senate Majority Leader from 2007 to 2015. Reed began his public career as the city attorney for Henderson, Nevada, before winning election to the Nevada Assembly. Reed's former boxing coach, Mike O'Callaghan, chose Reed as his running mate in the 1970 Nevada gubernatorial election, and Reed served as lieutenant governor of Nevada from 1971 to 1975. After being defeated in races for the United States Senate and the position of mayor of Las Vegas, Reed served as chairman of the Nevada Gaming Commission from 1977 to 1981. From 1983 to 1987, Reed represented Nevada's 1st District in the United States House of Representatives. Reed won election to the United States Senate in 1986 and served in the Senate from 1987 to 2017. He served as the Senate Democratic Whip from 1999 to 2005 before succeeding Tom Dashley as Senate Minority Leader. The Democrats won control of the Senate after the 2006 Senate elections and Reid became the Senate Majority Leader in 2007. He held that position for the last two years of George W. Bush's presidency and the first six years of Barack Obama's presidency. As Majority Leader, he helped pass major legislation such as the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, the Dodd-Frank Act, and the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009. Republicans took control of the Senate following the 2014 Senate elections, and Reid served as Senate Minority Leader from 2015 to his retirement in 2017. Reid was succeeded as the Senate Democratic Leader by Chuck Schumer, whose leadership bid had been endorsed by Reid. Along with Albin W. Barkley and Mike Mansfield, Reid is one of only three senators to serve at least eight years as Majority Leader. Early life and early career Reed was born in Searchlight, Nevada, the third of four sons of Harry Vincent Reed, a minor, and Inez Orina James Reed, a laundress. His father committed suicide with a gunshot to the head in 1972, at age 58, when Harry was 32 years old. His paternal grandmother was an English immigrant from Darlaston, Staffordshire. Reed's boyhood home was a shack with no indoor toilet, hot water, or telephone. Since Searchlight had no high school, Reed boarded with relatives 40 miles away in Henderson, Nevada to attend Basic High School, where he played football, and was an amateur boxer. While at Basic High, he met future Nevada Governor Mike O'Callaghan, who was a teacher there and served as Reed's boxing coach. Reed attended Southern Utah University, and graduated from Utah State University where he double majored in political science and history. He minored in economics at Utah State School of Commerce and Business Administration. He then went to George Washington University Law School earning a J.D. while working for the United States Capitol Police. <laughs> Early political career State politics Reed returned to Nevada after law school and served as Henderson City Attorney before being elected to the Nevada Assembly for the multi-member 4th District of Clark County in 1968. In 1970, at age 30, Reed was chosen by O'Callaghan as his running mate for Lieutenant Governor of Nevada. Reed and O'Callaghan won their respective races, and Reed served as lieutenant governor from 1971 until 1974, when he ran for the U.S. Senate seat being vacated by Allen Bible. He lost by fewer than 700 votes to former Governor Paul Laxalt. In 1975, Reed ran for mayor of Las Vegas and lost to Bill Breyer. Reed served as chairman of the Nevada Gaming Commission from 1977 to 1981. When Jack Gordon, LaToya Jackson's future agent and husband, offered Reed a $12,000 bribe to get approval of new games for casinos, Reed brought in the FBI to tape Gordon's bribery attempt and arrest him. After FBI agents interrupted the transaction, as prearranged, Reed lost his temper and attempted to choke Gordon, saying, You son of a bitch, you tried to bribe me, before agents stopped him. Gordon was convicted in 1979 and sentenced to six months in prison. 
In 1981, Reed's wife found a bomb attached to the family station wagon. Reed suspected it was placed by Gordon, although this has never been proven in a court of law. Topic: U.S. Representative. Prior to the 1980 census, Nevada had only a single at-large member in the United States House of Representatives, but population growth in the 1970s resulted in the state picking up a second district. Reed won the Democratic nomination for the first district, based in Las Vegas, in 1982, and easily won the general election. He served two terms in the House, from 1983 to 1987. <laughs> Topic. Elections In 1986, Reed won the Democratic nomination for the seat of retiring two-term incumbent Republican Senator Paul Laxalt. Reed defeated former at-large Congressman Jim Santini, a Democrat who had turned Republican, in the November election. Reed ran for re-election in 1992 which he won by a double-digit margin. In 1998 he narrowly defeated 1st District Congressman John Ensign in the midst of a statewide Republican sweep. In 2004, Reed won re-election with 61% of the vote, defeating Richard Zeiser, and gaining the endorsement of several Republicans. Ensign was elected to Nevada's other Senate seat in 2000. Ensign and Reed had a very good relationship despite their bitter contest in 1998. The two frequently worked together on Nevada issues until Ensign was forced to resign from his Senate seat. Reed won the Democratic nomination with 75% of the vote in the June 8 primary. He faced a very competitive general election for the Senate in Nevada in 2010. Reed engaged in a $1 million media campaign to reintroduce himself to state's voters. He defeated Republican challenger Sharon Angle in the November election, 50.3% to 44.6%, despite losing 14 of Nevada's 17 counties. In January 2015, Reed suffered severe injuries in an exercise accident. On March 27, 2015, Reed uploaded a video to his YouTube account announcing that he would not seek re-election in November 2016. Reed endorsed New York Senator Chuck Schumer D to succeed him as minority leader. He was succeeded by former Nevada Attorney General and fellow Democrat Catherine Cortez Masto. On January 1, 2017, two days before the end of his term, Reed surpassed Senator John P. Jones to become the longest-serving senator from Nevada. Leadership <inaudible> 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 From 1999 to 2005, Reed served as Senate Democratic Whip, as Minority Whip from 1999 to 2001, and again from 2003 to 2005. Reed was Majority Whip from 2001 to 2003, except for a brief period from January to May 2001. From 2001 to 2003, he served as Chairman of the Senate Ethics Committee. Reed succeeded Tom Dashley as minority leader in 2005, and became majority leader after the 2006 election until 2015. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Committee assignments. Select Committee on Intelligence, ex officio. Joint Committee on Inaugural Ceremonies. Topic. <laughs> Political positions Reed scored a lifetime conservative rating of 19% from the American Conservative Union ACU, and a 2008 liberal rating of 70% from the Americans for Democratic Action ADA. Other independent ratings include a 29% rating in 2003 from NARAL, the Abortion Rights Group, an 85% rating from Planned Parenthood in 2013, and a B. Rating from the National Rifle Association. Reed spearheaded several initiatives while in Congress. In 2006, Reed co sponsored the Prevention First Amendment with Hillary Clinton, which would fund abortion prevention efforts such as giving women broader access to contraception. The bill faced Republican opposition and failed. 
In January 2007, Reid brought a Senate ethics reform bill to a vote to bar congressional members from accepting gifts, meals, and trips from lobbyists and organizations employing lobbyists, to bar senators from borrowing corporate jets for travel, and to compel senators to disclose names of sponsors, or authors, of bills and projects. The bill passed 96-2. In the 111th Congress, Reed shepherded the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act PPACA through the Senate. Reed believes that Roe v. Wade should be overturned, and in 1999, voted against an amendment that supported Roe. He stated that he believed in a restricted right to abortion, stating that, "...abortions should be legal only when the pregnancy resulted from incest, rape, or when the life of the woman is endangered." He voted several times to ban the intact dilation and evacuation," or partial birth abortion procedure. Reed supported embryonic stem cell research. Regarding same-sex marriage, Reed initially believed that marriage should be between a man and a woman, but abandoned that position in favor of same-sex marriage in 2012. In regard to local issues, Reed firmly opposed construction of the proposed Yucca Mountain Federal Nuclear Waste Repository in Nevada. Reed opposed legalization of online poker, but has recently changed his position, a move that some have argued was influenced by the hundreds of thousands of dollars Las Vegas casinos contributed to his re-election campaign. Reed called immigration reform one of his priorities at the 110th Congress. He supports the DREAM Act Development, Relief and Education for Alien Minors Act, which would give certain high school graduates who had arrived in the U.S. illegally, conditional legal status so they could attend college or enlist in the military. They could then obtain permanent legal residency after completing two years of military service or two years of college. In June 2009, Reed announced his intention to enact a new guest worker program as part of a comprehensive immigration reform bill. Reed supported use of force in the Middle East, but in September 2007, called for a drastic change in strategy. In January 1991, Reed voted to authorize the first Gulf War, quoting John F. Kennedy's 1963 State of the Union speech on the Senate floor, saying, The mere absence of war is not peace. He also voted in support of the 2003 invasion of Iraq. In March 2007, he voted in favor of redeploying U.S. troops out of Iraq by March 2008. And later that year, said, As long as we follow President Bush's path in Iraq, the war is lost. Reid is a strong advocate of recognizing the Armenian genocide. Reid advocated outlawing prostitution in Nevada. On May 15, 2013, Reid revealed to reporters that his niece is a lesbian as he spoke about his hope that the Employment Non Discrimination Act would be signed into law. Conservation legacy Over the course of a career spanning nearly 35 years, Reed has been a major advocate of land conservation in Nevada. He successfully secured the designation of about 5.1 million acres of federal land in Nevada as protected land, shielding them from development. Among these were the Tule Springs Fossil Beds National Monument, the Basin and Range National Monument, and the Gold Butte National Monument. In 2015, Reed received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the League of Conservation Voters, and the following year he was honored by the Conservation Lands Foundation for historic contributions to conservation. Topic: <laughs> Criticism Liberal critics have argued that Reid was not doing enough to end the American military presence in Iraq, and that he allowed Senate Republicans to create a 60-vote bar for passage of bills without a Democratic filibuster. Conservatives have criticized Reid for his extensive use of the procedural tactic known as filling the tree to prevent amendments on important bills. Reid has also been criticized for several potentially self-enriching tactics. In 2005, Reed earmarked a spending bill to provide for building a bridge between Nevada and Arizona that would make land he owned more valuable. Reed called funding for construction of a bridge over the Colorado River, among other projects, incredibly good news for Nevada, in a news release after passage of the 2006 transportation bill. He owned 160 acres 65 hectares of land several miles from the proposed bridge site in Arizona. The bridge could add value to his real estate investment. 
A year later it was reported that Reed had used campaign donations to pay for $3,300 in Christmas gifts to the staff at the condominium where he resides. Federal election law prohibits candidates from using political donations for personal use. Reed's staff stated that his campaign attorneys had approved this use of the funds, but that Reed would personally reimburse his campaign for the expenses. Citizens United filed a complaint with the Federal Election Commission to investigate the matter. A series of investigative reports in the Los Angeles Times suggested that Reed had introduced legislation and imposed pressure on regulatory agencies to advance the business interests of his close friend Harvey Whitmore, a Nevada attorney lobbyist who contributed heavily to Reed's campaigns and leadership fund and who employed Reed's son Leaf as his personal attorney. With Reed's help, Whitmore was able to proceed with construction of a $30 billion planned golf course development, Coyote Springs, a project heavily criticized by environmental groups for reasons including its projected effects on several endangered species. Whitmore served a two-year prison sentence after being found guilty in 2013 of funneling $133,400 in illegal contributions to Reed's re-election campaign. In 2006, the National Republican Senatorial Committee attempted to associate Reed with the Jack Abramoff Indian lobbying scandal by pointing out he had received more than $50,000 from four tribes with gaming interests between 2001 and 2004 after they hired Abramoff. Reid denied any wrongdoing, and media reported that the Center for Responsive Politics, a nonpartisan research group, had produced an analysis showing a general increase in the amount and number of contributions by Indian tribes since the late 1990s. Reid apologized on January 9, 2010, for racially tinged comments he had made when Obama was campaigning for president. In private conversations, Reid had remarked that Obama could win the presidency because the country was ready to embrace a black presidential candidate, especially one such as Obama, to whom he referred as being light-skinned and with no Negro dialect, unless he wanted to have one. These comments had been recently revealed by journalists Mark Halperin and John Heilman in Game Change, their book about the 2008 election. In addition to his public apology, Reid called Obama to apologize. Obama accepted his apology, stating that as far as he was concerned, the book was closed on the incident. RNC Chairman Michael Steele and Senators John Cornyn and John Kyle called on Reid to resign his leadership position in the Senate, citing Majority Leader Trent Lott resigning because of a statement relating to race. However, multiple experts said there was virtually no chance of that. DNC Chairman Tim Kaine and Senators Dianne Feinstein and Jack Reed expressed support for Reed and confidence he would retain his leadership position, and another senior Democrat indicated Reed has "...produced supportive statements from key African American leaders in the Congress and civil rights community." In August 2010, Reed spoke in front of National Council of La Raza, "...I don't know how anyone of Hispanic heritage could be a Republican, okay. Do I need to say more?" The following day, Dr. Manny Alvarez and Republican Senator Marco Rubio, both of Hispanic descent, spoke out against Reed's remarks. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mitt Romney. During the summer of 2012, Reed said during an interview with the Huffington Post that he had received information from an unidentified investor in Bain Capital that presumptive Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney did not pay any taxes for 10 years. The accusation was repeated on the Senate floor by Reed on August 2, 2012. According to CBS News, Romney stated, Let me also say, categorically, I have paid taxes every year, and a lot of taxes. So Harry is simply wrong. PolitiFact.com's Truth O Meter rated the accusation as pants on fire. The Washington Post's fact checker gave it four Pinocchios. CBS reported that Romney had submitted 23 years of tax returns to the John McCain campaign in 2008, when he was being vetted for the vice presidential nomination. McCain said, N othing in these tax returns showed that he did not pay taxes. After the election, Reid called the attack, "...one of the best things I've ever done." He also said, "...Romney didn't win, did he?" <laughs> Koch brothers Reid has excoriated the Koch brothers, who contribute to Republican, conservative and or libertarian political causes and candidates. 
In the first seven months of 2014, Reid mentioned the Cokes in 22 separate floor speeches, calling them out about 250 times. Reid used the term, un-American, to describe the brothers, prompting comparisons to McCarthyism. It's too bad that they are trying to buy America. And it's time that the American people spoke out against this terrible dishonesty of these two brothers, who are about as un-American as anyone that I can imagine. Conservatives, such as MSNBC talk show host Joe Scarborough, who compared Reid's comments to McCarthyism, and National Review editor Rich Lowry condemned Reid's comments. In 2012, Reid cited fellow U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders who claimed the Koch brothers were "...funding think tanks spreading an enormous amount of disinformation about social security." Two years later, in 2014, Reid accused the brothers of having Republicans stall aid to Ukraine by pushing for amendments like a delay of regulation by the IRS of non-profit political advocacy groups to be included in the aid package. Reid credited his wife, Landra, for likening the Republicans' Ukrainian stance to a «coke addiction». <laughs> Cultural and political image Part of Reed's confrontation with Frank Rosenthal while chair of the Nevada Gaming Commission is reenacted in the 1995 movie Casino. Reed had a role in the movie Traffic 2000, in which he played himself. He appeared, with Senators Sam Brownback and Barack Obama, in the 2007 documentary film Sand and Sorrow, which details the genocide in Sudan. Reed was elected to the Gaming Hall of Fame in 2001. In 2013, advisor Jim Margolis said of Reed, He is unique in this city. And you see it in so many different ways. Is he the best TV talking head? No. He'd be the first to tell you that. Should he smile more? Yes, should he say goodbye on the phone when he's done talking to you? Probably. But those are things you'd assume are part and parcel of a polished figure in Washington. That is not Harry Reid. <laughs> Personal life In 1959, Reid married his high school girlfriend, Landra Gould. They have five children, a daughter and four sons. Their eldest son, Rory, was an elected commissioner for Clark County, Nevada, of which he became chairman, and 2010 Democratic nominee in the election for governor of Nevada. Another son ran for municipal office in Cottonwood Heights, Utah. According to OpenSecrets.org, as of 2010, Reed is worth between $3.3 million to $10.3 million. Reed and his family reside in the Anthem area of Henderson, Nevada. Reed, who was raised agnostic, and his wife, who was born to Jewish immigrant parents and grew up in Henderson, converted to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints while he was a college student. In a 2001 interview he said, I think it is much easier to be a good member of the church and a Democrat than a good member of the church and a Republican. He went on to say that the Democrats' emphasis on helping others, as opposed to what he considers Republican dogma to the contrary, is the reason he's a Democrat. He delivered a speech at Brigham Young University to about 4,000 students on October 9, 2007, in which he expressed his opinion that democratic values mirror Mormon values. Several Republican Mormons in Utah have contested his faith because of his politics, such as his statements that the church's backing of California's Proposition 8 wasted resources. In September 2011, Reed's wife was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer. Reed is the co-chairman of the Board of Selectors of Jefferson Awards for Public Service. In April 2015, Reed confirmed former U.S. Senator Larry Pressler as a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <inaudible> Injury On January 1, 2015, Reed was injured while exercising in his home. A piece of equipment he was using broke, causing him to fall. As a result, Reed suffered broken ribs, broken facial bones and was at risk of permanent vision loss in his right eye. On January 26, 2015, Reed underwent surgery to remove a blood clot from his right eye and repair facial bones. <laughs> Pancreatic cancer On May 14, 2018, Reed had surgery for pancreatic cancer at Johns Hopkins Cancer Center after a tumor was found on his pancreas during a routine screening. 